Um, I'm in my hotel room. Occasionally you can hear the sound that kind of sounds like the ocean or waves crashing or something. But it's actually the road. So there's that. I've been sewing. Taking a brief break from that. Um, first I had a little afternoon snack. Well, let's be real. We're going to call it dinner. Only I'm not done eating it yet. It's over there. As you do. So today, I went on a little walk. Should we go in reverse order? I went to a fabric store. Because there was one. I got this thing. Mostly because I thought, you know what I could do? I could cut these up and add them to my little quilt where I'm using my scraps. We'll see if I do that. At the very least, it'll be the fabric that I got in the area. I actually got it from Fort Bragg and not Mendocino. And then I got this fabric, which is a tulip pink fabric. And number one, the colors are amazing. Number two, there's the Loch Ness Monster and a unicorn and it's hidden in what looks like paint splotches. It's glorious. And then I got this, let's see, it may not show up. It's like leaves, white on white. And I have another unicorn thing to make that that would be useful for. So, you know. I needed it. I actually don't, uh, in my defense, I did not need that amazing Loch Ness Monster unicorn <laughs> fabric. But, um, sorry, we're laying in bed apparently. But I did, oops, whoops, stay still. <sighs> but I did need that white. I don't have a lot of white fabric. So that will be useful. Let's take off our glasses. I don't need them to talk to you. I don't need them for anything. That's not true. I need them for reading. And when I have them on for a long time, I need them real bad. Like my eyes forget how to work. So right now they're probably not really focusing. At any rate, so that was what I did. I Right like in reverse order, I had some food. And then before that I went and got fabric. And then before that I went and bought food. And then before that, I did some sewing. I left off the most recent bit of sewing. Just insert that as the most recent thing I did. And then before that, oh wait, I forgot about the llamas and the chickens. Okay. Maybe we'll start at the start. This is confusing. So what happened? I didn't sleep super well. I think what I need to do is relocate my white noise machine to be closer to the bed. Um, you're blocking my light. I'm blocking my light. Really, we'll sit up. Let's not be so lazy. So um, I think if I move my white noise machine closer to the bed, I think it's going to work better. I just realized maybe I'm talking loud. Because I heard a sound. At any rate, I got woken up because breakfast is delivered at 9 a.m. It was a delicious breakfast. It included fresh orange juice, which I love. And this egg dish. And some fresh fruit. And the fruit was really good. And cornbread. Little mini. They called it a muffin, but it was shaped like a loaf. It's a cheddar jalapeno. It didn't taste much of cheddar, and I saw a single piece of jalapeno in it, but it was good for cornbread. Cornbread's kind of dry a lot of the time. I digress. So I ate the breakfast, then I got back in bed because I was tired, and I laid there and watched some videos, and then I was like, Maria, what are you going to do? Sleep away the whole day? Get up, lazy. So I got up lazy, and then I put a bunch of sunscreen on, and went on a hike and I hiked there's a little trailhead right out the front um 
and I saw a rabbit and there were some deer and then I like was like walk 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 oh my gosh that's the ocean and it was really amazing one of those like you're just like minding your own business walking through trees and then all of a sudden ocean it was beautiful I mean you kind of knew it was getting like you could hear it the whole time but Anyway, so then I'm like walking along the bluffs. I'm going to call them that. I don't know if that's a technical term, but I'm calling them that. Um, Looking down on the ocean. I couldn't really get down to it because it was fairly, it was like a cliff, okay? Like it was cliff. And then one spot I saw like enough of a slant that I could go down and look and see if it was like tide pools. And so I walked down there and I'm looking a little bit and I saw a little tadpole and some other little thing and then I started to get worried about the water coming in and being stranded and also it was kind of cold and I walked up and then I kept walking and um, I got a blister so I was like maybe I should go back I mean it was obvious that I was developing a blister for a lot of this time I'm going to throw away this pair of shoes because they're supposed to be worn without socks and shoes that will give you a blister if you wear them without socks but they're meant to be worn without socks don't keep them like what's the point so anyway uh, I started walking back and I noticed that there appeared to be two paths so when I had walked down towards the ocean it looked like I could go left or I could go right and I had gone right because it seemed the path more traveled by but then I came back and I was like hey what about the path less traveled maybe I'll take that so it winded its way around the coastline and then it started to go inland a little so I had feeling good about my chances of getting back towards like maybe it meets up with the trail or down the road a little bit and I'm picking my way through and the trail is becoming as I progress it's still obviously a trail okay like obviously I thought people, but maybe it was the aforementioned deer, have been like taking this path. And I'm going and I'm going and it's like getting less and less of a trail. And then all of a sudden I like am step, I look, you know, I'm watching where I'm going obviously because like otherwise you're going to break your ankle or something. Um, So then the ground started to get like muddy. And I was like, oh, that's all right. I'll cross over this. No problem. And then, like, there's, like, these big old, I think they're thistles, like, growing over. So now there's, like, muddy and thorns coming at me. So the mud went away. It was just, like, this one little thing. I'm oh, no big deal. Walking, walking. And then, like, the path starts to basically narrow and not exist as a path. And I'm thinking, "Eh, it's all right. It's all right. And then it goes through, like, some trees. And then at one point I realized this isn't a path anymore and there are wild animals out here. There was a sign that said coyotes. Um, I'm not – so coyotes will basically leave humans alone. Like coyotes, um, they're not about attacking us. But at the same time, I don't want them to see me as a threat and also – it is. It has become clear that wherever I am, it's not like, like, we're getting a sunk cost fallacy. Like, well, I've come too far. So I was like, no, okay, fine. So I turned around and went all the way back the way I came, <laughs> which was at least ten minutes of walking, maybe more. So it's like, so I turned back and then I see this guy as I'm like coming up onto the, to the bluffs again to the headlands. I mean, I suppose the whole thing is headlands. Whatever. As I'm getting closer to the water, I see this guy and he's ahead of me and I'm like, oh God, what was he doing? Was he just like disposing of a body or something? And for reals, that is really what I actually thought. Um, I know. So then I'm like, I don't know if I want him to see me. Maybe he's going to get me. So I, you know, kept my distance. But I wasn't trying to hide or anything. But I thought, I won't, you know, sneak up. And I get to where he was and I'm looking like, is there a body over there? There was no body. 
Not that he was acting suspicious or anything either. Anyway, so I'm headed back. I'm, he- you know, I'm walking and he's ahead of me. And then I start thinking, and then like I lose sight of him. I'm like, oh God, is he waiting to like push me off the edge? Yes, that's really what I thought. And I thought, Maria, you're being a little bit paranoid right now. He's probably not waiting. Why would he push you off the edge? You're dumb. And I was like, yeah, Maria, you're dumb. I'm, for the record, while I was walking, I was listening to a murder mystery. But I actually don't think that contributed. I think it's all the true crime shows I've seen. Because, <laughs> like, at one point when I'm, like, looking over the edge, I was, like, half expecting to see a body. <laughs> uh, I, I stopped watching true crime shows, for the record. They just have a lasting impact. So, at any rate... Then he goes and he, and there's a friend of his, I see these arms reach out of the grass, like, and grab, and he, like, helps lift his friend up, because his friend had been laying in the ground. Let me tell you how much that horrifies me. There are bugs there. And when one got on me, I, I shudder to think about how many bugs could be, like, on the ground. That is terrifying. Anyway... So he helps his friends up, and then we're both headed back down the the same path, and I was behind him. But also I kept looking around, and and sometimes I would watch the bees, um, and I tried not to notice the butterflies. They creeped me out. Um, And then uh, I came back to the room, and I took off my shoes to look at my, check out my blister, and my feet were, like, black in places from all this dirt um but it was a good it was a good hike it wasn't a long hike so tomorrow I think the plan is to go on the eight mile hike and for that plan I will be I will certainly be bringing band-aids and I will be wearing my tennis shoes but maybe the same pants I was wearing which is unfortunate but they're a good pair of pants they're that I got them from REI and they're like breathable and they have vents in them and stuff it's nice to wear for hiking um and that one is on the other side of the road oh that was that's the great part is like I have to cross a road to go to the other like sister inn that has all the stuff with the chickens and the llamas and I got cookies there I can go every day and get cookies and you better believe I'm gonna go and get cookies um but I think that's probably enough for now. I should go back to my little seat and get back to my sewing. You can see out the window. Here's my view. There's these really tall flowers. They're real big. Oh, you can see all the roads. I mean all the roads. All the cars on the road. And maybe you can see the ocean back there. It has been so fantastic to have some time off I desperately needed this like I'm gonna have to do this again it's really neat the it's great to have this time by myself but all of the beautiful things that I've seen I keep thinking how I wish I could share them with people whether it's like oh I wish I could share this with um, Tim or I wish I could share this with my sister and the nibblings or sometimes even I think like some of my other friends or whatever the case is um, but I'm enjoying it for what it is which is amazing but for now um, this quilt isn't going to sew itself so I better get back to work <laughs>